In this video, we will explain how to quickly and effectively rig Adamson E-Series full range enclosures. The E15 and E12 sit on a four high dolly that travels with a cover. The reinforced cover protects the enclosures from bumps and scratches. It also allows for E-Series full range enclosures to travel with the E-Frame attached. The design of the E-Series is based around the E-Capsule, which houses all mid-high components, including our collinear drive modules, as well as Adamson's patented Autolock rigging system. Autolock rigging consists of a rigging positioning system and three levers used to connect the enclosures. By containing all rigging within the E-Capsule, Adamson has been able to produce a rigging frame with a minimal footprint, as well as drastically reduce the steps needed to prep a rig for suspension. The identical width of the E-capsule ensures compatibility among all full-range enclosures and associated accessories. One technician can easily set all rigging positions on the rear of the cabinet using the angle positioning system. The rigging positions must be determined by using Blueprint AV. For further information on Blueprint AV, follow the tutorials located at adamsonsystems.com. The angle positioning system consists of an angle pin, a sliding knob, and a stacking pin. Referencing the Blueprint AV user sheet, a technician sets the rigging positions with the sliding knob and places the angle pin in the corresponding color-coded hole. Make sure that the positions set on each side of the angle positioning system are the same. The stacking pin is to be used to maintain a rigid angle when stacking enclosures. It should also be used to maintain a rigid angle with an up-tilted array. Each cabinet has blue and black levers in the front, as well as red levers in the rear. Pulling the black levers will release the front rigging links. Engaging the blue lever prepares the enclosure to accept and lock the front rigging link as well as the E-frame. Engaging the red lever prepares the enclosure to accept and lock the rear rigging link as well as the dolly. Now it's time to attach the E-frame. Arm the blue levers of the top enclosure and set the rear rigging position to 0 for the E15 or 2 for the E12. Release the front pins on the E-frame and lower the rigging links to the down position. Reset the front pins to lock the rigging links in place. Lower the E-frame onto the stack. Once the front rigging links activate the auto-lock rigging, guide the rear of the frame onto the enclosure's rear rigging and pin it in place. For some applications, the E-frame can be used by itself to suspend arrays. Larger arrays with more curvature require the use of the extender beam. To use the extender beam, first remove the lifting plates on the E-frame. The stacking plates are rectangular with four push pin holes. Place these at the front and rear of the E-frame and pin them in place. The extended beam can be attached to the E-frame in a variety of ways. After determining the best weight distribution in Blueprint AV, Attach the extended beam to the E-frame. Next, attach the lifting plates with the remaining 3 quarter inch pins. Disarm the red levers on the bottom enclosure attached to the dolly. Lift the force stack and the enclosures will fall into their predetermined angles. Roll the next force stack underneath. Preset all the rigging positions as determined with Blueprint AV and arm the blue levers at the top. If the bottom enclosure of the hang does not have the front rigging pieces released already, pull the black levers to release them. Lower the rig to the point where the front rigging links are just in front of the rigging channels. Push the flown rig into the rigging channel and lower the hoist until the auto-lock rigging engages. Arm the red levers on the rear of the flown rig and lower the hoist until the rear rigging links engage the auto-lock. As previously mentioned, the E12 and E15 rig without the need for any adapters. Simply follow the steps we just mentioned to connect E12s in the same array. In situations where array curvature makes it difficult to rely on the auto-lock mechanism, disengaging the rear rigging one enclosure at a time to manually lift and connect the array may be necessary. The Adamson S10 can easily be flown in the same array as the E-Series with the S10 underhang kit. Release the front rigging links on the flown array with the black lever. Fit the S10 underhang brackets to the links and pin them in place. Always pin the brackets from the outside towards the middle of the enclosure. Roll the S10 dolly underneath your flown array. Disengage the rear push pins from the S-series support frame and arm the rear red levers on the flown array. 
Manually lift the S-Series support frame until the rear rigging links engage the auto-lock rigging. Lower the array until the S10 underhang brackets slide over the front of the S-Series support frame. Pin the brackets to the frame with the push pins provided. Lift the rear of the S10 and pin it into place on the S-Series support frame. Repeat this step for the amount of S10s specified. Now that we've successfully flown an E-Series PA, it's time to land one. Before lowering the array, position the dolly matching the bottom enclosure below the array. The E15 dolly has three sets of casters, and the E12 dolly has two. Arm the rear red levers on the bottom enclosure of the array, and lower until it is just above the dolly. Lift the dolly until it engages the rear auto-lock rigging. If the array is rather straight, it can be simply lowered until all four enclosures are resting on the dolly. At this point, it's a matter of simply releasing the force stack from the enclosure above. If the array is highly curved, lower it until enough weight is taken to release the rear red levers from the enclosure above the force stack. At this point, only the front rigging pieces are connected. Raise the array with the front rigging still attached until the four stack is resting on all four wheels and release the front rigging with the blue levers. Continue this procedure until the entire array is on the ground on dollies. Detailed descriptions of the operation and rigging for these products can be found in the user manuals available on the Adamson website.